हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट एंट्रोपी ऑफ प्योर सब्सटेंस सो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्रेंड्स फर्स्ट वी विल सी द व्हाट इज एंट्रोपी एंड देन वी विल गो टू द एंट्रोपी ऑफ अ प्योर सब्सटेंस सो हियर फ्रेंड्स एंट्रोपी इज अ प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ अ रिवर्सिबल प्रोसेस it is an abstract property of the second law of thermodynamics here friends reversible process means suppose this is a pv diagram and this is a process cycle process or path this is a state a and this is a state b this process goes from this a to this is initial position and this is final position this uh, process goes from a to b and then again it reverses goes back to the initial position that is a this process is called as reversible process in which process in which the process goes from a to b a to b and then again returns to the same initial condition that is here in this case a without any stresses on the system or the surroundings this process is called reversible process here and here second law of thermodynamics is related to entropy here friends now entropy is a function of quality of heat here quality of heat that is temperature which leads to the conversion of heat into work heat into work we use we convert the heat into work this conversion is depends on the quality of, of heat that is temperature now here friends entropy is small when heat is transferred at higher temperature entropy is small when heat is transferred at higher temperature suppose uh, the symbol of entropy is as symbol of heat is suppose here h and symbol of work is w here friends see here entropy entropy is small less or you can say here when the heat transferred is that is heat that is q we will transfer at a temp higher temperature higher temperature then entropy is low and here entropy is large when heat is transferred at lower temperature here friends now entropy is large when we transferred heat q at lower temperature you can say it is inverse of each other here as we can see here when entropy entropy is small when heat is transferred at high temperature entropy is in uh, more when heat is transferred at lower temperature now here for maximum entropy minim there is minimum possibility of conversion of heat into work here friends we can see this is maximum entropy when entropy is maximum then there is quality of heat is, quality of heat is low that is temperature is low so here in when there is maximum entropy there is minimum possibility of conversion of heat into work minimum possibility that is its value decreases in this case minimum possibility of conversion of heat into work minimum and now here for minimum entropy there is maximum possibility of conversion of heat into work here friends when entropy is greater that is this one case sorry sorry when entropy is minimum that is small this one case then there is 
maximum possibility of conversion of heat into work as here in this case there is we supply heat at higher quality that is at higher temperature so there is maximum possibility of conversion of heat into work that is its uh, output is increased work output is increased it is maximum here in this case this is this one maximum possibility of conversion of heat into work now here entropy is considered as measure of degree of molecular disorder in the matter here friends suppose in a container in a closed container these all are gas molecules which are in order there is no you can say there is uh, no more uh, randomness when we heat this suppose this is closed container we heat this container then its temperature increases temperature increases because of this friends then these molecules move here and there there because of tem because of this temperature rise uh there is a random motion between these molecules occurs and there is disorder in the molecules occurs this called as entropy you can say degree as a uh, some amount at amount now here friends entropy change that is delta capital s this is capital s is equal to integration of delta q upon t is equal to integration of mc delta t mc dt upon t here friends c m is the mass and c is the specific heat specific heat and this is temperature difference and this is t here now friends specific entropy delta small s is equal to integration of delta small q upon t is equal to integration of c dt upon t this is for unit mass system here we consider mass is equal to 1 so here not we doesn't included mass mass is equal to 1 kg we have considered so it is for unit mass system let friends 1 kg of water be heated from a temperature of 1 t1 to t2 at constant temperature then friends specific entropy is equal to integration of 1 to 2 dq upon t is equal to integration of 1 to 2 cd cpw dt upon t is equal to cpw ln t2 upon t1 and its unit is uh, unit of entropy change is specific entropy change is kilojoule per kg kelvin here friends cpw means cpw is equal to specific heat of water and its value is taken as 4.187 kilojoule per kg kelvin now friends let's see the entropy change of a pure substance first is entropy change during heating of water now friends let's see on the temperature versus entropy graph here friends this graph the, the, in, here friends in this process at this point that is 273 kelvin or 0 degree celsius there is a water water at this point there is a water at uh, 273 de kelvin or at 0 degree celsius and it is and this process is at constant pressure that is one atmosphere and during this whole process the mass of water is 1 kg constant throughout the process here friends suppose this uh, this is a b c d here the in this press case friends during heating of water that is friends 
during heating of water from this that is process a b heating of water here friends and this is saturation temperature that is for water it is 100 degrees celsius so here friends in this process we heat the water at 0 degrees celsius till its temperature rises at 100 degrees celsius that is saturation temperature and at this point we got we here at this point we get saturated water and this entropy of saturated water and the entropy change during this process is called as entropy of saturated water and it is denoted by sf now here friends see here entropy of saturated water sf is given as it is sf is equal to cpw ln t sat upon 273 kelvin and its unit is kilojoule per kg kelvin here friends t sat means this higher temperature upon this lower temperature 273 degree higher temperature upon lower temperature it is and its value is as we have told as i have told earlier cpw is equal to 4.817 kilojoule per kg kelvin now friends here entropy change during evaporation during evaporation now friends evaporation process is b to c here in this process and it is at constant temperature that is 100 degree celsius or saturation temperature t sat during this process here in this process friends we got there is we got here water plus vapor mixture during this process b to c and entropy change during this b to c process is called entropy of evaporation and it is denoted by s f g here now friends here entropy of evaporation for dry and saturated steam is given by SFG is equal to HFG upon T sat kilojoule per kg Kelvin. Here, friend, HFG is equal to the latent heat of vaporization of water, and its unit is kilojoule per kg, and its value can be obtained from the steam tables. Also, this SF value we can call we can calculate from the steam tables. Now, here, friends, for wet steam, heat supplied during evaporation is XHFG at saturation temperature that is T sat 100 degrees Celsius here. Then the change of entropy during evaporation. The change of entropy during evaporation is given as S wet that is entropy wet is equal to X SFG is equal to X HFG upon T sat. Here friends X means dryness fraction and it is it is, it is a ratio of the mass of actual dry and saturated vapor to the total mass of steam considered. Here friends, in symbolic representation we can call it as x is equal to mg upon mg plus mw. Here friends, mg means mass of dry and saturated steam and mw is the mass of saturated water in suspension in the steam considered. That is friends, the steam which we considered here in that um the suspended par water particles uh, moisture you can say here friends x h x s f g is equal to entropy of partial evaporation okay
Now friends, entropy change of dry and saturated steam and it is denoted by Sg. Here friends, in this dry and saturated steam that is the steam which we get here at point C after conversion, complete conversion of the water into vapor. And here friends, uh, we can see Sg is equal to Sf plus SFG that is friends uh, entropy of entropy change of dry and saturated steam is the summation of the entropy of saturated water and entropy of evaporation here friends it is the total entropy of steam SG is equal to SF plus SFG its unit is kilojoule per kg Kelvin now here friends entropy of Entropy change of wet steam. Here, friends, S weight is equal to entropy change of wet steam that is steam which we get during BC process. Here, friends, entropy of wet steam is SF is given as S weight is equal to SF plus X SFG kilojoule per kg Kelvin. Now This is a steam which we got at the end of the process in particular question and uh, if there is some this is wet steam because of there is some moisture in that particular steam at the end of that particular uh, process. Now here friends entropy change of superheated steam. Here friends if we add further heat to the dry and saturated steam here dry and saturated steam here at 100 degrees celsius then its temperature increases further and the steam which we get during process c to d is called as a super heated steam and the entropy change of superheated steam is given during this process friends and it is given as here's friends as superheating that is change of entropy during superheating is equal to integration of t sat to t soup here friends t sat means saturation temperature and t soup means the temperature greater than the saturation temperature uh, that will be here 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 anywhere here during the anywhere above the saturation temperature and it is denoted by t soup that is here say friends you can say here t soup s u p So S superheating is equal to integration of T sat to T soup delta Q upon T is equal to CPS integration T sat to T soup DT upon T is equal to CPS ln T soup upon T sat. Here friends so C CPS means specific heat of superheated superheated steam here T soup is uh, higher temperature T side is the lower temperature then now friends here total entropy of the superheated steam that is uh, the total entropy suppose we consider this point total entropy which we get at this point uh, is the summation of all the previous entropies uh, see here T soup is equal to sorry S soup is equal to SF plus SFG plus CPS ln T soup upon T sat that is here friends this one plus this one plus this one here friends SF plus SFG as we know SG plus CPS ln T soup upon T sat and friends here CPS that is specific heat of superheated steam is considered as 2.02 2.3 kilojoule per kg Kelvin here friends in all the processes 
or you can say in all cases temperature must be used in kelvin if you use above formulas in any of the problem then we have to use temperature in kelvin thank you friends for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you